Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on my video. I wanted to take a few moments to show you my Antminer L3 Plus mining setup. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this equipment, what these are, are hardware-based miners that are programmed to mine for script algorithm-based cryptocurrencies. And I currently have mine set up to mine for Litecoin. Uh, recently I've had to modify my setup uh, to take advantage of the weather uh, because it's only getting colder as we get into these winter months. Right now it's around 50 degrees Fahrenheit at 8 o'clock at night. So I have a box fan in the window with this <laughs> homemade vent hood uh, forcing air from outside directly into the intake fans of the miners. Um, here on the back side I have these one-way damper vents that I picked up from Home Depot. They had a center flap and they also had an extra flange on the opposing side here that I cut off so I could mount these flush to the exhaust vents. Um, these come in handy for me in the warmer months. It allows me to hook up exhaust ducting too easily. Uh, you can usually find something like this on Amazon or eBay for around ten or fifteen dollars. They're usually 3D printed or something like that and um, I picked up each one of these at Home Depot for six bucks so if you're looking for something more readily available to connect ducting to 120 millimeter fans uh, and save a few bucks you should check these out if we look down here I'm powering my miners with some HP server power supplies uh, pick these up on eBay for around 65 bucks I have them zip tied to the underside of this shelving and they're connected to my miners with these power supply connectors I picked up from a company called Deep in the Mines LLC. I think these cost me about 30 bucks each. Um, so the overall setup here for power is comparable, if not cheaper, than the Ant Miner power supplies, and I would argue more readily available. I've got this seating on here just because this is a high traffic area in my laundry room, and I want them to get snagged and ripped out or cut or damaged if the fans sound loud that's because they are uh, I have them running at hundred uh, percent and for good reason um, right now I'm overclocking each one of these miners from the standard 384 megahertz to 500 megahertz and I'm getting about a 30 percent increase in uh, hash rate as advertised, these are supposed to make around 504 mega hash. I'm getting about 650, 655 mega hash each. It does come with a little bit of a penalty. I am getting a significant amount of hardware errors, but nevertheless, it still is making 650 mega hash each. I have these connected to my router over here, and I've actually had to install two 20 amp fuses, which connect to each one of those outlets uh, so each column has its own 20 amp fuse so I don't ever blow it. Regardless of them being overclocked because of the outside temperature, the forced air and running the fans at full speed, the boards and the chips are running at around 43 degrees Celsius so I'm making good temps. I'm not really worried about damaging the equipment as long as I can keep the temperature down. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a nice day.